Hey man, say man. Hey, what's up everybody, man? It's your boy Black Sean Groove from Street Culture Entertainment, Street Culture TV. Before I start this video, I need y'all to hit the like and subscribe button. I also need y'all to hit the notification button so you can get a notification when I drop videos. And also, I need y'all to leave comments, man. But um, we got Trader Truth and Jayton, rappers from Houston, turning themselves in today over the zero incident that happened a couple of months ago when they jumped zero at, at 50 cents on um, tycoon weekend for my people who don't know and need to be updated a couple of months ago i can't remember exactly what month it is i want to say october but we have uh, a rapper from houston named zero who's a very great rapper who's one of the best ever to come out of texas well one of the best ever to come out the rap game period if you ask me and he got into an uh, altercation altercation with one of his ex best friends named uh, Trader Truth, who's also a rapper, and Trader Truth has a little brother named Jayton who participated in the jump with him. And for people that don't know the background, Trey and Zero are not real blood cousins. They are not, but they are so close that they called each other cousins because they were close since they were teenagers. They started off in a rap group together called Gorilla Mob. It was four, four or five of them. And, you know, it's, it slowly started dwindling down to just Trey and Zero, started ABN, et cetera, et cetera. They went their separate ways because they wasn't seeing eye to eye. Well, an incident happened back in 2006 where Zero and Trey's little brother, Jayton, got arrested for some drink. And it was a shaky situation. And um, they were beefing over it or whatever. And then uh, about a year ago, Zero got on ghetto boys podcast and rehashed the situation which i guess made trey and Z trey and jayton mad again so 50 cent threw an event in houston called tycoon weekend and during the tycoon weekend jayton trey and another abn associate jump zero and it went viral it went viral it went everywhere and you had people complaining about why HBD didn't make an arrest because they were standing right there when it happened. All they did was stop the dudes and let them keep going or whatever. Zero was on the news about it. His lawyer's been on the news about it. It's been big discussions. And today, this morning, there were videos and reports that Trey and Jayton were turning themselves in to Harris County Jail in Houston because Zero filed charges. Now, this is what I want to say. Because there's a lot of talk about zero snitching and people snitching in general. Now, when it comes to the Gunner situation with Young Thug and YSL, we actually seen him in the courtroom. We seen signed paperwork and we got statements from his lawyer that he cooperated. Some people say that's not snitching because he didn't really tell on nobody or nothing. But the way I was raised, the way I see shit, if you cooperate with the police, period. You snitching. Now, if you're a civilian and you don't indulge in street activity or gang related activity or whatever, it's not considered snitching because they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're citizens. They're doing what they're supposed to do. But if you're in the streets and you're doing street shit or you're talking street shit, you're not supposed to say nothing to tell. And in my eyes, there was cooperation with Gunner did. Now, what Zero did, first of all, I can't assume whether he snitched or not because I haven't seen no paperwork or no proof yet like we've seen with Gunner. But I'm thinking about it like this here. Since this shit happened, I don't know if y'all know, but Zero stock has went up. People who didn't know who Zero was, when they seen that video, they started to want to know who he was. He's starting to be on more podcasts now because he wasn't a big interview person. He's starting to be on podcasts now. His views have went up to millions on YouTube. His, his listens have went up to millions on Spotify and, and other platforms. And I've paid attention. I've seen this. I've, I've studied it myself. Trey didn't help do nothing but help Zero raise his stock. So if his stock is raised and he's more in the public eye, wouldn't he be a fool to retaliate and do some ignorant shit and fuck up his career? Then on top of that, it'd be two black men doing dumb shit to each other going to jail. And this is another way I'm looking at it. I'm from Texas. If you don't file charges on somebody that assaulted you and it's a known assault, especially how it went viral, how it did, the state will pick up the charges they damn self. Like they don't need nobody. They will pick up the charges they damn self. They're going to use the video and they might use a few clips from Zero's news report or whatever to help convict the man. But in Texas, they pick up charges. 
So I'm thinking that's what happened. I'm thinking Texas picked up the charges. The state picked up the charges because they do that in Texas, man. I don't care what happens. I can hit you right now. And if the police are called and you tell them, now nah, I don't want to file charges on the police are still going to handcuff me and say, well, okay, the state's going to pick it up and they're going to still take me to jail. That's what happens in Texas. So before we start assuming that someone snitched or something like that, wait for all the information to come out. But like I said, they helped raise zero stock. And if he does something now, does some ignorant shit and goes to jail, you know what that does to him? Plus he has another, another artist from his label. He has a female artist from his label that he's focusing on that's, that, that's doing her thing out here. And she's probably gonna, she probably about to make a lot of money and make him a lot of money. So why would he jeopardize that? And for you women that, that don't know, the female artist I'm talking about, her name is Lolita Lolita Monroe. Lolita Monroe. She's she's like the hardest female out of out of, out of Houston right now. She's the hardest female. And I ain't no not no Meg the Stallion is not no because she she don't talk, she talk about the same shit, prostituting hooker shit. Lolita Lolita hard. She can spit. So I'm just letting y'all know that. But. Like I say, let all the information come out first before we start assuming. Because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. My name is Black Sean Groove, man. From Street Culture Entertainment, Street Culture TV. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notification when I drop videos. And also, don't forget to leave a comment, man, because I need y'all to comment about this, man. I'm going to holler at y'all.